Sunderland. Once the kings of the northeast now lie languishing in the third tier of English football. A who's who of the managerial world have tried and failed to return this classic British club to the Premier League. But now, a new manager is on the scene. One who hopes to take this once great football club not only back to the Premier League, but to rule Europe and world football once and for all. Join me on this daily adventure with Sunderland, the making of a champion. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my FIFA 20 career man with this mighty Sunderland. Uh, we've got a small matter of an FA Cup semi-final up against Manchester United to talk about, uh, which could lead to a second domestic League Cup final. Here I am. Thanks, guys. Have a press conference, going, build up to this one. You know what? I don't know. What, what what we got going on here? Talk to me. How do you deal with mental pressure following the match against Manchester United? Mm, the team is strong, my friend. The team is strong. What is your priority for your following match against Manchester United? Win or draw? Well, realistically, it's a win. The place, you understand, this has to be a win. It has to be a win. And that took, took a knock. Uh, objective is to win, of course. Because we don't want a draw, because I don't think there's a, there is a draw. So, uh, you know, we'll go back to his basket in form recently. There's been top performance recently. Can you keep... We can do even better. That's why we have to do even better. Thank you. I'll take no right, more questions. I've just unlocked a trophy. So here we go, folks. It is the small matter of the FA Cup semi-final. Uh, we have a suspension at the back. It will come in. Jay Dunkley will come in. And it'll wear the captain's arm. And it will be as you were in the last, last one. So Greenwood up against his old club. We'll put Chong on the bench as well to uh, make the likelihood that he could face his old club as well. Because you know what? Sometimes uh, players come back to haunt their old, their old clubs. Now, we've played... Premier League teams before we've beaten. Uh, in fact, let's have a little look. I think we beat. I think we beat Arsenal on the way to this semi-final. Uh, so let's go back around. We took on Brighton and we won on penalties in the fifth round. We did beat Arsenal. Uh, who do we take? We took on Preston. Then in the third round, we took on. Who did we take on? I can't see us. Find us, Macclesfield. So we did beat Arsenal, so it's not out, it's not out of the question, but we'll see. Yep, but red and blue can't get better than that. It's at Wembley, star-studded uh, occasion for any Sunderland fans. Hopefully, we can uh, make it to another domestic cup final in the same season. Now, for all of you guys who've watched uh, well, the rest the of the series, this is one of those that are going to be unedited. So basically, from here on in to the end of the game, it's going to be one cut. Unless something crazy happens to the doorbell or the house catches on fire or something like that. Uh, there should be no cuts. Oh, here we go. Star Spang. I should have let that roll, really. Um, with the fireworks and all that. Big occasion. Packed with, with many United fans. Where's the Sunderland end? There should be quite a lot of us. 50-odd thousand of us should be there. And this is the way to the final. I already just showed you it. Um, yeah. Not too shabby indeed, fellas against Manchester United. Could we be playing them next season in the Premier League? We'll see. So can Greenwood come back to haunt his old club? I will see. See who, who's happier. Who's got the bit between their teeth today? Manchester United with Guedes. Probably some unfamiliar names in this line because the, cha the team's changing quite, quite uh, drastically and quite quickly as well. Very apparent. It's a throw in for Sunderland. Finally get a bit of possession. McLaughlin, who will be playing in pastures new himself next season. Sunderland having a good spell of the ball here. Kaplani. To Mitchell, another ex-United player. But the focus will be on flipping Greenwood. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Put a bit of let put a head behind that. That would have been in there. Spectacular goal. And we could have rubbed their faces in it. Oh, loose ball. Wan Basaka. This is actually the clashing of two of my parallel universes. Obviously, I play Manchester. I play as Manchester United in a football manager save, which is, uh, I guess, now completed. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do. Greenwood. Oh, there was a run. Oh, that's a shit pass, mate. It's a shit pass. 
but yeah, my team is is littered with a lot of ex youngsters from like Arsenal and uh, and um, Manchester United. We have Willock, we have Smith Rowe. It's a good effort. United peppering us, Martial with that strike. Marzani as well. Loney from you know, uh, City. Cuts back. Keeps it moving. Kaplani. Smith Rowe. Well, that's not where I want to go, but. Have a shot, son. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's not far off. Not far off. Smith, Smith Rowe. Chelsea also got Gilmore on the books as well. So, yeah, I've got. It's the it's the future, Kaplan. Oh, it would have been a great ball if it got cut through to Smith Rowe. Here come United with Martial, cheeky back heels in the middle. Who's this guy? Ziyech. That's weird. I signed him myself as well on my on that football manager save. It's crazy how these worlds are similar. That's a great save by McLaughlin, just denying United an early goal. The longer it goes on, I think the 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 stronger we can get. Guedes. Fred. Strikes. That one probably trickled out before McLaughlin. Nope. Be another corner. Guedes will take this sucker. So here we go. Go on then, Smith Rowe. Away. Oh, we couldn't get anything on it. A real opportunity to get it into the middle. Martial, United turning the screw. Great clearance. Coplani. Only as far as McTomney. Broken up. It's a shit pass, mate. Passed it into trouble. McTomney strikes. And again, we might have got something on it. Nope. It's a goal kick this time. It's a short pass, mate. You've got to make these things count. Lucas Moore is wide open. Who the heck is that? He was wide open. Cross was there. No one's celebrating with him. Must be Jesse Lingard. It's Guedes. And we are trailing. Smith Rowe. Cometh the hour. Cometh the JR. Where is he? On the bench. Oops, stabbed. Azani? Nope. United aren't that stupid. Here they are, the Manchester United fans hoping that this is Shit a pass for syndrome. They have got the lead. They have been at their very best. Of course they're capable of upping a gear. Goes into the slide. Could whip it in from here. Another corner. It's all United. All United. You can see it again. Ziyech. Scrambles, McLaughlin, go. Mason Greenwood's just been found out by his old buddies. And that's half time. We've, we've barely farted, if I'm honest with you. We've barely got going. It's only one goal in it, though. If we can score. Look at that. It's one sided as you've ever seen it. Second half, though, we get the ball. Just checking everything is in order. We'll have to think about our changes very, very soon. Arzani down this right hand side. It's pocket picked by whoever that was. Julian. That's a bit of a lunge. Just yellow. Max power. McLaughlin with the grab. Come up on your feet, sunshine. Greenwood. Kaplani. Arzani. Looks like he's offside. He is. That would have been, that would have been, that would have been great. What's the time on the clock, folks? What we got? We've got 51 minutes. It's still early. I think it's time for some Tahiti Chong. Some JRW. He's got possession back for his team. 
a bit of a lunge. Well, it, it looking a little feisty. That's a shit pass, mate. Make him count. Go. Arzani. Kaplani. Mitchell. Greenwood. Cuts back. Give for somebody. It's our best spell right there. We need to think about this. Changes. He's through. He's through. Jay Dunkley. Go on, Smith Rowe. Let's make these changes. We need a... Uh, Chong. Chong's coming on. Max power for JRW. So we're going to try and make it a 4-4-2 or something. So, what have we done here? Time for a substitution. Changing the formation on United. We go two up top. Great save. That was shit, shit, shit distribution. Max Power, you're on a ticking time bomb when you get this ball out. Lucas, one or two players arriving in the middle. The chance to put in a decent cross, he's actually put in a wasteful one. Gula slipped his man. Oh my goodness, that's not the way I wanted the ball to go out. What a shit, shitty goal. Again, no celebration, no camaraderie between this Manchester United team. Dog shit. 2 0 down. Big fat OG. To Heat Chong. It looks like I'm on. In this one. Oh goodness me. Willock's also got himself a yellow. Well, we've been we've been done over today. We've been done over a kipper by uh, a United team, which will probably be probably win this. McLaughlin. Now, where's the run into the box, eh? I flipping do want my bust my lungs and try and get the flipping cross in. No one decides to follow in the box. Two 0 you know what? So it would have been a bit plays, greedy if we'd won this one. Eighty bits on the clock. There's Tahit Chong. Gets a touch. It's been a bit. It's been a bit flat, hasn't it? It's been very, very flat. Cannot get anything. They've been quickest to the ball. There's Pogba. He's, he's, he's still, you know, I thought he'd left. Let's get it to the forward, too. JR. He's not had a flipping touch. Jordan Rhodes. <laughs> Running out of ideas. Well, we have, we have got plenty of ideas, but I just can't get the ball up there. Smith Rowe is off. Maguire's coming on. Final five minutes. Who's on this? It is Maguire. To Willock. That's a shit ball. It's a shit ball, mate. It's a shit ball. That was our best, that was our best flurry forward. <laughs> I'm done, I'm done with this one. Let's concentrate on the league. We've got four FA Cup finals next anyway. That was, that was a shit show from the get-go. United will be celebrating. Hey, you know what, we got our own bit of silverware. I'm, I'm chuffed a bit with the, with the Calabada Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It amounts to nothing. What are you, eh? Not great, folks. Not great. So, Manchester United will take on the winner of Spurs versus Manchester City. I don't really care now, obviously. Focus switches back to the league. Any, uh, yeah, okay, bit of post-match chat.
question. It is what it is. Given the question of you today, the cup calculation, are you going to make any major changes in the squad? <laughs> Let's not rush, man. And it's it's no, we can't make any major changes anyway. The transfer window's shut. He deserves all the praise. He does. We couldn't play our usual game up against the Premier League side. We've got a uh, a Brazilian uh, dollars worth of talent in there. Thanks. That's against all the questions. Our, uh, Make sh makeshift 11. But anyway, no excuses. So tomorrow is back to business with the next batch of games in the championship. Uh, we take on, we go into the month of May. We take on Wigan and we take on Norwich. Norwich are in the promotion uh, stakes. Wigan, I don't know where they are. But you can join all that shenanigans right here. Same time, same place. Make sure you give this video some love and smash that thumbs up. Please, please, please. And also make sure you smash the subscribe. Back tomorrow, same time, same place. It's all about the league. But we could go back to Wembley with some playoff action. We'll see in a couple of days' time. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>